Now, what I'm adding here is a little bit of a cooler note on the roof line, and it's just a closer value and temperature next to that shadow shape so that it goes from that kind of cooler note, even though I'm painting the light right now, uh, then it goes more towards the warm when you get to the, the tip of the barn. And I may adjust this later, but uh, right now, just that's kind of the idea that I want to go after is reducing that contrast along that shadow edge uh, that's on the left-hand side and then bringing it more and more into the warmth as we slide toward the right-hand side of the roof. Now it's important here to have some of these little areas. I'm going to put some darks that pass from the shadow area into the light. And it's important to have those kinds of things that show some continuity between the shadow areas and the light areas. If I don't have those, then it, they'll feel like it's a very separate, that they're not uh, part of the same uh, object. And those areas, if done right and done with sensitivity, they will be some of the most beautiful parts of the painting.
Now, one of the final touches, you saw that I put a little bit more blue in that back area and I want to have some more air passing through in and being able to go into the barn to see what's in there and adding a little bit of a blue note where there's an opening back in the distance helps to do that where you show some of the sky back there and in those uh, dark shadows that are in the uh, windows that you see or those openings. Uh, and that those little touches and those little notes can really bring the whole painting together uh, because uh, you don't want to have everything isolated like the blue in one section, the red in one section. You want to have some integration between some of these uh, colors. Now I'm kind of finishing up here by adding a little bit more of a line, kind of an implied line that goes up into the barn where you would go into uh, the structure. And that's just a kind of more of a narrative moment where you have something to lead the eye up into the piece. And I felt like I needed that little moment just to give a little bit more of a, maybe a narrative quality to it, but also for kind of abstract purposes, there's just a little bit more of a breakup of all that big field of snow there, but in a very kind of organic sort of way. Now, as we put a few final touches on uh, this video, I will definitely take another look at this, uh, especially in kind of this video setting when I'm recording it for you. I don't get that uh, luxury of the time to sit back and look at things and then make a stroke. And so I'm definitely going to do that and I'll probably spend a couple more hours on it, but most of it is not painting. Most of it is just thinking and trying to decide if this is going to work, you know, and uh, if things bother me. I look at it at a distance. I look at it in different types of light, like I'll bring it into um, more of a gallery setting space that I have and see how it holds up among other paintings that I've done. And this is kind of a way to make sure that it has that level of quality that I want to have in the piece.